Hello everyone and welcome back to another insightful episode of Mr. Nath's podcast series. I'm Hetvi Shah, your host, and today we are diving into an absolutely essential topic, which is sunscreen. As we know, sunscreen is critical for skin skin protection. Yet there are so many misconceptions and questions surrounding its usage. Joining us is Dr. Anmol Kudal. an esteemed dermatologist working closely with patients to improve their well-being well-being through both clinical expertise and a compassionate approach with a strong focus on skin health education dr anmol is here to help us navigate the essentials of sunscreen use the common misconceptions and innovations in sun protection so welcome doctor it is a pleasure to have you it's my honor uh, to be here on this uh, platform So now let's kick off with the basics doctor. So how do you generally educate your patients about the importance of sunscreen and are there any common misconceptions you encounter that we should address? Generally we educate uh, the patient about the importance of sunscreen by telling them that the it will reduce the signs of uh, aging. Okay, it will delay the signs of aging which are like uh, hyperpigmentation wrinkles and uh, also the uh, fine lines or below the eyes also uh, it will reduce the tanning and also it will reduce the uh, sunburn it will reduce the risk of uh, skin cancer okay and uh, uh, you are right there, there are misconception about the sunscreens uh, few uh, misconceptions uh, i will t- uh, tell uh, they are like uh, everyone thinks that uh, whenever we go outside uh, that time only there is need of sunscreen but uh, it's not like that uh, you can uh, uh, get the the damage from the visible light or the indoor light also so so sunscreen is a must uh, uh, in the indoor also then uh, uh, people think that uh, one application of sunscreen uh, will last the entire day uh, it's not like that uh, generally uh, as we get exposed to the sunlight uh the components of the uh, this sunscreen degrades so like uh, multiple uh, uh, apply is required uh, uh, reapply is required in a case of uh, like full protection okay and uh, people think that uh, makeup is a good option instead of sunlight instead of sunscreen okay uh, so that is one the third uh, misconception and uh, also fourth misconception uh, misconception is that a uh, higher spf will uh, provide more protection to the, from the sunlight uh, generally uh, 30 spf the difference between 30 spf and uh, 50 spf sunlight uh, sunscreen is that uh, it just uh, provides about uh, 1% uh, the uh, more than the 30 spf sunscreen okay the 50 spf uh, spf sunscreen will provide just a uh, 1% uh, more than the 30 spf and uh, people think that uh, if we apply sunscreen uh, then we will have the uh, vitamin d deficiency uh, so i think uh, like uh, uh, for a uh, vitamin d uh, there is no like uh, like a whole day exposure of sun is not uh, required just a 10 to 15 minutes of uh, sunlight will be sufficient for uh, vitamin d production okay so you should not uh, miss the sunscreen uh, for the production of uh, vitamin d, d- Uh, vitamin D, and uh, people think that uh, sunscreen contains the chemicals uh, which can lead to the cancer. But uh, there is no study uh, such uh, proving that uh, sun- uh, sunscreen will lead to the uh, cancer. It, that's such a good comparison, doctor, and it really does drive home the idea of making sunscreen a habit. Now, moving on, one size does not fit at all when it comes to sunscreen. especially with different skin types or conditions like a uh, acne rosacea or even eczema so how do you guide patients to select the right type of sunscreen for a uh, dry skin uh, we generally uh, prefer the cream form okay and for like oily or acne prone uh, acne prone skin we generally prefer the gel form so uh, generally uh, if people uh, are having dry uh, skin then they should uh, look for the uh this one uh, glycerin or propylene uh, glycol or, or the uh, hyaluronic acid in the sunscreen and uh, people uh, who have acne prone or oily or sensitive skin 
दे शुड लुक फॉर ऑइल फ्री नॉन कॉमेडोजेनिक मैट फिनिश देन नॉन ग्रीजी सनस्क्रीन ओके ऑल्सो दे शुड लुक फॉर टिटेनियम टॉक्साइड एंड झिंक ऑक्साइड एज द एक्टिव इंटीग्रेट ऑफ द सनस्क्रीन सिंस इट इज लेस इरिटेटिंग टू स्किन ऑल्सो फॉर द पीपल हु हैव एक्जिमा और हु आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम सोरेसिस Uh, should avoid the sunscreen uh, containing in the para amino benzoic acid uh, this one integrants okay uh, because they ca- they cause irritation to the skin that makes so much sense and it's like tail- tailoring skin care to meet individual needs now with so many options on uh, on the market including tinted sunscreens and those with antioxidants as well so how do you see the products evolving within dermatological care tinted sunscreen uh, the most uh, important content of the tinted sunscreen are the uh, titanium oxide and zinc oxide with the iron oxides of various colors like uh, red uh, green and these are the oxides uh, which will help uh, like uh, it doesn't protect uh, against uva or uvb uh, it will help against also the visible light so it will provide broad spectrum protection uh, to the uh, like uh, from the sunlight Uh, it doesn't uh, like only uh, protect only uva or uvb uh, sunlight so uh, people who are indoors uh, or uh, people who have like uh, uh, post inflammatory hyperpigmentation from acne or uh, people suffering from melasma are more prone uh, to the uh, pigmentation so uh, these people need a broad spectrum protection from sunlight okay so this uh, other sunscreen will protect only from the outdoor sunlight but the, for uh, protection uh, from blue light from the uh, like uh, indoor artificial lights uh, tinted sunscreen are the best and uh, also tinted sunscreen uh, uh, does not leave cast uh, white cast on the uh, face uh, so uh, they are mostly uh, preferable uh, for people uh, with the dark skin okay and uh, tinted uh, sunscreen uh, generally like they are costly uh, but uh, will uh, provide uh, broad uh, uh, protection against the blue light and the visible light uh, regarding the uh, this one antioxidant uh, in the sunscreen uh, uh, most of the uh, sunscreen are infused with uh, vitamin c and vitamin e uh, generally what happens uh, the uh, uv filters in the sunscreen when they uh, when it get exposed to the uh, sunlight it gets degrades and uh, form the uh, like uh, uh, radicals and can harm to the uh, skin okay so generally what this oxidant antioxidant does does is that uh, it prevents uh, from the radical damage okay uh, and it prevents against the erythema uh, which is more useful uh, in the acne prone uh, sunscreen uh, and acne prone skin Now the next question is one challenge we often hear is about reapplying uh, sunscreen every 2 hours so it sounds very straight forward but in practice it can be very difficult so what challenges do you see patients face with this and how can doctors like yourself help guide them in real world scenarios Gen- generally people uh, don't apply uh, like uh, one sun so uh, they are afraid to apply uh, once only uh, but uh, Uh, i generally uh, uh, tell uh, patients to apply uh, like uh, half hour before leaving the uh, house okay like when you are give, uh, going for college or any job or when you are uh, going outside in the sunlight so i prefer them to uh, uh, apply i prefer and tell them uh, to apply the sunscreen half hour before leaving the home okay and next they can apply at uh, 12 pm like i generally prefer them to, uh, like i generally tell them to apply just only twice and uh, if they are using uh, 30 spf uh, sunscreen then uh, then i tell them to apply uh, thrice a day like uh, 9 am then uh, 11 or 12 pm then at 2 pm if they are using broad spectrum sunscreen like uh, 50 spf then uh, two uh, two application is sufficient Yes, so it's all about finding practical ways to help patients fit these habits into their routines. <clears throat> Now, finally, with the growing awareness of skin of color and its unique needs, what should dermatologists keep in mind when recommending sunscreens for patients with darker skin tones? 
generally the skin tone of uh, uh, people are classified according to the fitzpatrick uh, skin classification okay there are six uh, types of uh, skin tone like skin colors so the upper three are uh, lies in the fair skin zone okay and the lower three are uh, for a darker skin zone so the patients uh, who are like uh, uh, in the upper uh, uh, skin zone like upper skin types 1 uh, 2 3 they are most uh, prone to the sunburn so the fairer uh, people with fairer skin tone are mostly uh, prone to uh, sunburn and the people with darker skin tone are mostly uh, uh, prone to skin tanning so generally what i pre- uh, tell patient uh, is that uh, uh, with patients uh, having darker skin tone uh, 30 spf uh, sunscreen is sufficient for them but reapplication is a must and uh, they they should look for uh, the sunscreen uh, which which would uh, match their tone uh like a skin tone they, uh, like tinted sunscreen generally matches the skin tone so that is most uh, preferable for them also they should uh, look for non greasy uh, non comedogenic type and uh, like uh, they should also look for the sunscreen which uh, leaves uh, like less uh, white cast like mm-hmm. residual white cast is more common uh, in the sunscreen and uh, over that skin tone it's not uh, like uh, suitable for them so generally i just uh, tell them to uh, tell them that 30 spf is uh, uh, suitable for them but a reapplication is must and uh, they should adopt uh, tinted sunscreen absolutely and i think that reminder is so important for all of us so as we wrap up today's session doctor thank you so much for all these insights and this has been incredibly valuable not only for patients but also for everyone listening in and thank you again for joining us thank you for uh, having me and remember if you're a healthcare professional who is eager to delve deeper into medical topics or have questions do not hesitate to join us on the medsynaps platform medsynaps platform is not just a resource it's a dynamic space where you can connect with your medical peers participate in meaningful discussions and contribute to the ongoing evolution of healthcare so until next time stay sun safe